If you have a drop or gap in your academic timeline, will that affect your on-campus placement chances during your M.Tech? Firstly, if you have a gap or break during your school years, for example in 10th or 12th, it is not a major issue. Recruiters typically don't focus on gaps in your early education and they believe that a brief pause in those days doesn't have an impact on your skill set or abilities that you have learned during your M.Tech. Next, suppose after completion of your B.Tech, you have joined some company, worked there for a few years, and then you have cracked gate and enrolled for M.Tech program in some premium institutions like IITs and IIC. In this case, this break will not be viewed as a drop rather as a valuable work experience. During MTech placement, the recruiter actually will appreciate the real world skills and the experience that you've learned during that time. And it will actually enhance your profile during the MTech placement. Next, another common situation is after BTEC, you have taken one or two years of gap, you have prepared for gate exam. And finally, maybe after two years, you are able to crack gate exam and then you join your MT. These kind of shorter breaks of one or two years after your BTEC is also accepted and they also don't make any issue during your MTech placement. As long as you have learned all the skill set during your MTech and you have performed well in the on-campus placement, the recruiters are not much bothered about this kind of one or two years gap that you have taken after your BTEC for preparing gate exam. However, things get a bit tricky if you take longer breaks, say many years after your BTEC for various reasons. For example, you have taken four years of gate preparation for cracking the gate exam, or maybe you, after your BTEC, you have prepared for MBA or some civil services and you couldn't crack it, then you have decided to go for gate exam. So in these cases, recruiter might ask you about this extended gap. In these cases, the crucial thing is how you have utilized your MTech curriculum. If you, are, if you have excel academically, if you are able to build the strong technical and soft skill and able to perform well in the placement session, then no company will reject you because of your extended gap that you have after your BTEC. But if you are not able to perform well during your placement session, then probably the employer will go with a fresher candidate because they have a more continuous academic track record. In summary, though a gap in your academic timeline may raise some concern in some scenarios, but ultimately, your performance and the skill set that you are developing during your MTech days will matter the most in your MTech placement. So focus on learning, improving your abilities and excelling in the interviews. These are the qualities that will make you stand out regardless of any gaps that you have in your academic timeline.